The promise of autonomous vehicles is that the 1.2 million lives that are lost around the world in accidents each year can be brought down by 90 or 95 percent. But in order to be safe, a lot of decisions need to happen inside a car in real time. And that is why the amount of memory that's inside a car is going to grow exponentially over the next few years. Memory is a very integral part of making an artificial intelligence system work. An artificial intelligence system uses just enormous quantities of data to try and discern patterns in that data. This data is resident in what we call RAM, which is just memory. Again, if you take the example of an autonomous vehicle which is trying to discern the difference between humans that are crossing the path versus inanimate objects, and some of these inanimate objects could be even moving. You're dealing with a lot of data that it's capturing from all of its sensors. You don't want to have a situation where the car is having to communicate real-time with the cloud to such a large extent that real-time decisions on whether the car should slow down or accelerate or, or suddenly move away from an obstacle is dependent on any feedback coming from the cloud. You want all of those decisions being made locally inside the car. So that requires massive amounts of memory. That ability of the processor to get its hands on the data when it needs the data is very, very critical. The bottleneck in a lot of these servers is not so much the processing power, but the bottleneck often becomes getting the data in and out of the processor. And that's where very high bandwidth memory becomes very, very critical, and the amount of memory that's connected to the server becomes very, very critical. Memory companies are making a lot of investments to get ready for this big boom in AI. This is a very capital intensive business. These technologies are becoming more and more difficult to scale. If you think about what's ahead, there are tremendous advances that are taking shape on the processing side. By 2023, a single processor would be able to have the compute capacity of a human brain. And so uh, we are really on the cusp of some very exciting changes in AI. Memory will be an essential foundation for all of that. <laughs>